Guitar Pilgrim here, and in today's episode, we're gonna take a look at a fantastic riff by Little Richard. <laughs> Lucille by Little Richard. I absolutely love this riff. And when you think about it, the pop music of the 50s, the early rock and roll records, Little Richard, Chuck Berry, Elvis Presley, compared to that, today's pop music is shite, isn't it? Or maybe I'm just getting old, who knows? But the riff is not just good because of those notes, it also works because of those great vocals. If you were to ask me who had the best voice in pop music, it's not gonna be Elvis, not even Frank Sinatra, but it has to be Little Richard. For me personally, the man sounds like a human saxophone, I mean, it's, nobody comes close. Now, let's take a look at the basic notes. To play this riff, it's not that difficult. Yeah, that's the basic riff that you need to play over and over again. And notice, I play every note downwards with my guitar pick. There's no alternate picking. Normally you would want to do alternate picking, yeah, because then it's gonna sound smooth. But smooth is not what we want here. You want to sound like you have a pair. It needs to sound with some frigging balls, right? So it's all downwards. Now, in order to play the entire thing in the most simplest form, you need to be able to play that riff at three places on the fretboard. Number one, starting on the low E string. Then also one string down, starting on the A string. And lastly, also two frets up. And with that, you should be able to play the basic thing. Even if you play it like this, which is the most basic form, it's already so much fun to play. But it's a little bit predictable, isn't it? So what can we do to make it a bit more interesting? Well, I can play the riff starting on the low E string, but I can also play that same riff starting on the A string. Now you might say, yeah, well, is that gonna make a big difference? Well, actually it does. By changing registers and just playing the same riff on a different place, it's gonna sound a little bit more unpredictable and exciting. sound a little bit better, doesn't it? The notes haven't changed and the structure of the song is still the same, but by just making different choices and playing the same notes at a different spot, it's gonna sound a little bit more unpredictable, a little bit more exciting. And finally, if you wanna do even more, you can always add what I do, a couple of nice little embellishments. Something like... Yeah, that works rather nicely. With the riff. Yeah, it's a bit more challenging when you play it up tempo, of course. Yeah, 
That's another one. Instead of playing the F riff just regularly, you can also add the F7 chord there. And that makes... Same on the G7. Raunchy. By using those extra chords and generally just playing it a bit more raunchy, it's gonna sound a bit like Jimi Hendrix as a consequence, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? And of course, you don't have to do that stuff. Now, let's see if we can play the entire thing together. We're gonna start simple, level one, just a basic version, then build up gradually to level two, and finally the Jimi Hendrix version. You can find the tabs as always on my Patreon site. Grab your guitar, here we go.